for, you know, coming down out of your clear hip handstands. Um, level fours, if you, level fives, if you want to start off doing like backward roll to push up, backward roll to like 45 to push up, that's fine because that's more realistic of what you'll be doing this coming season. Um, but, you know, we'll always work getting clear hips higher than they're supposed to be, you know, so we can avoid all of the deductions that we really don't need height and dynamics wise. Um, so remember, please, please, please have your head in, really push down on the ground. I know it sounds really funny, but the harder you push down on the ground, the less likely anything from here to here is going to move. Okay, so really if you push down on that bar as you're coming up, you're going to go to handstand. Okay, if you just trust yourself and push on that bar as you're coming up, you, you will be fine. Okay, um, so really focus on that when you're doing your back extension roll. So when your hands hit that ground for your back extension roll, push down. Okay, when your hands hit, just push those shoulders to your, put as much pressure on the ground as you can. That way, when it comes to adding the bar in, it feels the exact same pressure-wise, so it gets a little bit easier. Um, Three-quarter handstand push-up. Um, okay, so this one is a little bit... Oh, sorry, I have to look at my eye. This one isn't one we've done before, but we kind of have. Um, so, with that being said, um, all you're really going to do is you're going to kick up the handstand and you're going to hold the handstand by the wall without touching the wall. Okay. Both ways. Okay. Um, so if I'm the wall, right, I want to be, or if I'm by the wall, I want to be holding my handstand up against the wall. Okay. So really find the wall, kick it a couple times to find out where it is, you know, um, so your back's against it, figure out where it is. And then really, you just want to be able to hold it without a wall. Okay? Being able to hold a handstand and training your body how to do it without a wall um, and really finding your flat line is going to make holding it on the bar and finding it on the bar so much easier. Um, especially for just cast handstands in general. Okay? Um, especially for the new coming level sixes, they will, we're going to try and push. Um, to have, you know, you at least try and cast handstands and doing, maybe working up to competing them at some point during the season. But um, especially for a cast handstand, you really need to be able to, you know, find that line and know what is straight up and down and what's archy and what's too hollow, okay? Um, with everything that's in these drills, it's really important that you keep your butt tucked in. I sent out a drill the other day by a coach and his coaching partner that I really like. They um, basically were doing elbow handstands and handstands where you tuck your butt in, okay? So she was doing a handstand like this, right? She's laying on the ground and she tucked her butt in, okay? Nothing else moved but her butt, okay? That's literally all it is. There's a bee, ah, so scary. Um, but you really wanna make sure that this is as flat as it can go, okay? I know my butt kinda sticks out, but that's okay. Um, you really just want to make sure 